All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. And it is now time for me to do my next birthday special. And this time it's for Matthew V2688, who recently turned 31. And our very first segment will be Jeopardy for the Game Boy. The segments I normally do for the birthday special for this one, especially, will still be the same. But we're just going to switch them around a little bit. So take on Diane in this game. And here are our six categories. We're dealing with sports trivia, Gone with the Wind, Fashion, Russian Revolution, Fictional Villains, and finally, It's Latin to Me. Uh, fashion for 100. Some kinds of military, motorcycle, football, and pit. What are helmets? Kimono country, what's Japan? Oops, I didn't mean to delete that letter. Uh, fashion for 300. The early 17th century collar that sounds like a dog bark. What is a ruff? Fashion for 400. Numerical name for knickers. What are plus fours? It's a tight military jacket with a high collar. And the right answer was... A tunic. Alright. Uh, let's have a uh, fictional villain for 100. Uncle Tom's cabin villain whose name now means any overbearing boss. Joel Cairo and Bridget O'Shaughnessy. Diane. The Maltese Falcon. Oh, all right. Foul name for three strikes in bowling. What's a turkey? Joey J was the first major leaguer who played in it as a child. 
What is the little league? Introduced the mini skirt to figure skating. Who is Sonia Heaney? Hey, Tiger. Come here, kitty. All right, right in the category. Official number 300. Tremble when they hear the name of this villain of Broadway's Oliver. Who is a uh, Bill Sykes? Yep, official villain four hundred. To winter poisoned Madame Bonacieux in this French swashbuckler. What is the Three Musketeers? Hamlet, Town, and Mansion Trilogy. First incorrect response given all game, but I don't lose anything for it. William Faulkner. Alright. That's okay. Like I said, I lost no money. Gone with the Wind 100. Her father, president of the Atlanta Historical Society, checked her background material. Who is Margaret Mitchell? Okay, well it's not for me, so we're good. 
Uh, it's Latin to me for a hundred. <laughs> the college or university one has attended or the school song. What's an alma mater? From ad libitum, meaning without restrictions, it means to make up as one goes along. What is ad lib? It's like me for 300. A defendant's plea which, while not admitting guilt, accepts punishment anyway. No low contendere, contendere. Communist theorists who believe Russia would be among the last European states to go communist. Or is it Karl Marx? All right, good. Karl Marx. Though evidence is sketchy, some believe this czar's daughter may have survived the revolution. If I were to guess, let's say Rasputin. Is it Rasputin? No, Anastasia. Oh, all right. The revolution was depicted in this epic 1965 film, which featured Rod Steiger and Alec Guinness. Pika Rupa! So that's $300 going to Whammy Inc. And Diane still applauds even though she lost money. <laughs> Dr. Zhivago, alright. The Germans sent him to Russia in a sealed train so he could take part in the revolution. Hemophilia. <laughs> Rasputin. Now is the time for Rasputin. All right. Whether or not you're having fun, how time flies in Latin. Tempest Fugit. Now the last clip. Meaning, whither that goest thou, these words sent Peter back to Rome. Quo vadis. Quo vadis. Alright. Either way, that's right. Double Germany time. Where are we starting? Space 200. It affects both tides and werewolves. What is the moon? A uh, space for 400. Last planet discovered and last chance for gas in the solar system. 
What is Pluto? Space for 600? Shrunken star into which light and a Disney film appeared. What is the black hole? Or what is a black hole? Space for 800. What is a supernova? Or is it a nebula? Explode star or a Chevrolet car? I'm going to change my mind and say what's a nebula. That is incorrect. So we have to give up $800 to Whammy Incorporated. Am I going to wish I'd stuck with my answer? Is it going to be a case of trust your first instinct? It's just a Nova, not a supernova, just a Nova. But that's correct. Slaying near Chicago in 1983, Alan Dorman made millions from this union's pension funds. The Teamsters, alright. When she looked back at Sodom, Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of this. What is salt? He gave Eve her name. Who's Adam? So that's four hundred more dollars going to Wayne Incorporated. Now they're getting fifteen hundred dollars. I have somewhat of a clue what this could be, but I'm gonna hold back. Bethlehem, and that was my guess. Bible six hundred. Jesus said people who are wolves sometimes wear this. Sheep's clothing, and that was my guess, but too little, too late. Oh. Latin for mist, it comes in shapes like crab, veil, and rain. A nebula. Now's the time for a nebula. Alright. In Genesis 12 and 20, Abraham didn't want people to know she was his wife. Who is Sarah?
In this ABC sitcom, teachers at Fillmore High include Mr. Moore and Mr. Dorfman. What is head of the class? On the answer 